She is secure, Sorry. honey. Period. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got these jumbo twists. I had a highly, highly, highly request video to show you guys how I got these jumbo twists. Um, just FYI, um, they're not dry yet, so they still look a little bit smaller than they do in the pictures, but when they get dry, they're going to look better. I just don't really have time to like show the very, very end process of them um, because I'm about to get ready to go to the airport soon, so... Yeah. I'm going to list the hair down in the description bar, what I used, all the products, all that stuff I'm going to list in the description. So check that out. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this tutorial now. Basically, all I'm doing is sectioning off each uh, section into a nice size square, putting a little gel on uh, the hair to prep it for the merge between the uh, synthetic hair and the human hair so I'm just gonna put a little bit more gel on the hair itself comb it through just to even out gel in the hair smooth out the edges and then I'm just gonna slice it in the middle this way I already have a little gel on the uh, synthetic hair I'm gonna put it in between the sliced area and I get a full good grip on the hair. I'm taking two of the little rubber bands just to secure it really good. And then I'm just going to pull the hair taut just a little, put the rubber band on the hair. Then I'm gonna take the hair and slice it in two sections as well. Just go back and even out the gel on the hair. And then I'm going to take a little bit more gel, run it down just to make it blend in really well with the uh, human hair. And then I'm gonna start doing my twist. Just taking the sections and just twisting them around. And as I go down, I just take the excess gel and kind of just continue to run it down uh, the cuticle of the hair. There's like a big <laughs> and then once this process is done, a good idea would be to uh, a good idea is to go under the dryer for at least 20 to 30 minutes just to mesh the gel and the human hair and synthetic hair together. And you can also add just a little bit of gel as you continue to work your way down. So what I'm doing is just continuing to take the gel all the way down to the end of the twist. You're going to get the kind of messy, but not so messy look, but it makes it look more natural this way. So once again, splitting the hair apart, taking the uh, hair extension, placing it in the middle of the part, then grabbing the two sides. I know some people like to put the rubber band on first and then use the uh, crochet needle to pull the hair through but I just think that that causes too much pain uh, to the person that is getting their hair done and so what I like to do is just place the hair in the middle of the part take the rubber band grab the two sides and then just put them together that way versus using the crochet needle to pull it through it just makes it so much more easier and you can make it secure as you can see the hair is is secure and nicely um she is secure tight. honey period once again i'm going to take that same the human hair split that apart and then use it on both sides of the synthetic hair As the hair dries the next couple days the hair itself will start to swell i feel like this is going to be my favorite hairstyle it's so cute it's, it's so quick and easy. Mm -hmm, it's super easy to do if you can't have someone do it for you then it'll be like super easy for you to do it yourself especially using the rubber band method I 
haven't I haven't eaten really all day. I just been I I was like trying to eat, hurry up and eat that, do the video. You came running down here to get some drink. I was like, <laughs> it was so good though. It was spicy. It was spicy, child. You had five, all fifty million <laughs> jalapenos on there. <laughs> you had so many jalapenos on there, and then the pepper on top of it. It was good though. Oh, uh, yeah, you ever put pepper on there? Mm -mm. It tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. I haven't sat under the um, dryer yet, but I am going to. But I'm so hungry right now, so I'm just trying to like end this video. Plus, I have to go like get prepared to go leave for California, so I'm just like trying to end this. <laughs> I've been doing so much today, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I got my jumbo twists. These are so easy to do. I mean, even though I'm not like probably the best person to do my own hair but even i could do this so i'm sure that you guys could like definitely do this on your own during this time just you know do something to your hair while we're still inside if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video